Good day, family, and all praise to our Father. It's all right, baby. The Almighty Creator. I saw this article when it first came out last month, and I didn't say anything about it because I don't care. It's Russia, and it's Putin. But Putin is not going to take the vaccine. Neither is our president or anyone in the White House. So Putin won't take the COVID vaccine. Russia touts as 91% effective. Russian President Vladimir Putin will not receive one of the nation's immunization candidates meant to protect against the novel coronavirus, a government spokesman reportedly said Tuesday. Putin's press secretary and deputy chief of staff, Dmitry Peskov, told journalists it's impossible to administer a vaccine still in development to the Russian leader. So they're saying they're already vaccinating their people, yet Putin is like, F that, I'm not getting it. They don't know the long-term effects. So, done deal. But today I saw this. In reversal, Trump says White House staff won't be first to receive COVID-19 vaccine. A Trump administration spokesman on Sunday said top officials in the three branches of government would be among the first to receive a COVID-19 vaccine. But later in the evening, the president himself said most White House staff members will have to wait. So one of Trump's boys opened his mouth and Trump had to shut that down. However, by Sunday night, Trump said he had requested a change in plans and that White House staff, including himself, would not, meet, would not be among the first to get the vaccine unless necessary. So they're not getting it, but they're pushing it on us. People working in the White House should receive the vaccine somewhat later in the program. This is Trump. I have asked that this adjustment be made, so it is done. I am not scheduled to take the vaccine, but look forward to doing so at the appropriate time. Thank you. <clears throat> so here our enemy is, pushing this vaccine on our neighborhoods because we are getting it more than they are supposedly all because we don't have the medical facilities and equipment, yet they're not taking it. They're not going to take it, and they're pushing it on us. It's 100% safe. Why would he not take it? Do you see what they're doing? They're still trying to kill us. We're still kidnapped. Nothing's changed. They're putting everything out there. And the Trump fans and people that agree with this, they'll have no problem with it. Oh, we'll, we'll get it. Not a problem. Our president says it's safe. You know what? F him. F them. Right now, what you're witnessing is their snare folding in on them. Let's just hope that this is the snare that gets us out of here. Again, Jacob's trouble, this is not Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble happens on the great and terrible day of the Almighty Creator. If you look at the great and terrible day of the Almighty Creator, we are out of this crap hole, and we are in our land living peacefully. This is not Jacob's trouble. This is their snare folding in on them. How many people now are not going to take this because the White House says they're not taking it? Do you see what's unfolding right in front of our faces? Wake up. Fear the Father.